Greetings and salutations. This is Imperator Vespasian and his ever trusty sidekick. Hello. This is a sorcerer for our word bearers. One of my favourite Chaos Space Marine legions. Um, always been quite interested in them, but for long complicated reasons I never really went into it too much because we were doing our own stuff. And mm, given that we just had a year of the gift of Nurgle, I kind of figured why not do something different with them? Um, so this guy was originally part of the Unhallowed and I've repainted him as a word bearer because we have some new characters for the Unhallowed and I'm sort of upgrading that legion. Um, so these guys, this guy is now a word bearer and it fits in a lot better, the theme, because he's electrocuting a Templar and the word bearers are of course the epitome of worship of the chaos gods and yep. the downfall of the emperor and the templars are the epitome of the guys who don't want that to happen <laughs> so um the, i should guess that the templars really don't like the word bearers yeah i mean they don't like anyone to be honest um they don't really like anyone at all especially the ultramarines especially the ultramarines um but the, you know and they are um, I, I will say um, something I really like about the Black Templars is that they do not give a toss about the Codex. There's how many thousands of Space Marines? Was it on Armageddon? Uh, a, a chapter is 3,000 men, yeah? Yes. Uh, 1,000 men. Yes. <clears throat> you are allowed 1,000 men in a chapter. When Grimaldus lands on... Uh, is sent to by the High, High Marshal to defend Armageddon, he takes 3,000 Black Templars with him. And no one in the Empire questions this. Where do 3,000 Black Templars come from? Oh. That does not include all the other legions that go to help. It's not the only one that's done it. No, I mean, no. The, the Ultramarines do the same thing, really. And how dare you? The Ultramarines <laughs> are utterly chaos, although they do call themselves a legion now. <laughs> <laughs> and they have 20,000 Space Marines. 20,000? Yes. <laughs> 20,000 Ultramarines. At this moment in time, in the, in the books, uh, the, the, their Codex chapter is 20,000 strong. Because, well, the, the, the God Emperor's son's come back, and are you going to argue with him? No. He wrote the Codex. Yeah. <laughs> Dawn's missing. Yes, Dawn, so, yes. Who's to say anything to the only Primarch's alive, technically? You know, it must be awful being in the Imperial Fists. Mm. Because if you're in a drop pod, or no, if you're in a shuttlecraft and, you, and you're, on a, you're going to a conference, and your shuttlecraft crashes, you're registered as dead, right? Mm -hmm. So the... Imperial Fists say, right, we need to make one of the neophytes into a space marine. Now we are back to a thousand. And then they find your shuttlecraft and they bring you back and say, he's saved. That means there's now a thousand and one, which means you will be executed. Yep. Because that's what the Imperial Fists are like. <laughs> it's like, dude. So with this sorcerer, his normal skills are uh, an iron inhaler, which means he has four plus invulnerable save no matter what. Yeah, again, we've already had this. We're yeah. not going to go into that yeah. again. We've had that discussion. Um, the, other, the other powers is normal for word bearers. And then he has his ruinous powers. What's the word bearer special power? Just let them know. Ah, yes. Um, if you roll six in combat, you gain extra attack. Well, that's uh, that's all chaos. Yeah. And if you... Uh, a six to a wound. A six to wound is mortal. Yeah. So if you roll a six to wound, it's it. then it's... No it, save. Pardon me, instant wounds. Yeah. And so that he has his ruinous powers. So he has smite, which is within 18 inches, uh, d3 wounds. If you roll a 10, it's d6 and if wounds. 10 equals d6 wounds. Um, fissure, 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 uh, 4d4 line. So it's 4d4. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. 4d, 4d, it's yeah. 4d, 4d4 four inches. Four, oh, four dice is that four? four dice right it's four dice in a line and anything in that line takes a mortal wound and a four yeah with no armor save because yeah. you fall in the fissure i'm not sure how does that work out for a normal marine now with two wounds does his his leg fall into the fissure if he gets one wound i guess they always get wounded once really don't they i'm not sure because they fall into the fissure go on anyway. and the last one fog enemy have a minus one to hit him Oh, uh, Battle Fog is a pretty good good one um, because it's, it affects the whole group. Yeah, yeah, the whole group. Just of like the uh, Apostle. Yeah, the Apostle has the same skill. 
Um, so that's that's good. That's pretty good. It is decent. But unlike the Apostle, he can actually do stuff. Yes. That's not physical. Yes. And uh, they're the ones that we bought for this guy um, because they, they kind of fit his his way of doing things. Uh, he has a force stave, which is decent. Um, it's only yeah. got a minus one. But it's D3, D3 damage. D3 damage, yeah. And it's three attacks. So three attacks. Three plus the wound. It, three plus the wound and effectively nine damage. Yeah. Max, you could take out a Dreadnought. Yes, you could. With one attack. With one attack. But and only if that doesn't work, save. you can use Runa's powers. Uh, well, really, you, that's for close combat, really. I don't, I don't think you're going to choose doing that. Um, you're going to you're gonna smite. Yeah. Yeah, smite smite's the best thing you can do. Sm but you're going to do more damage with your force stave. Indeed. Because smite does only d uh, d3 d If it's a group, like let's say, let's say that it's the word bearers against the uh, berserkers. Yeah. He's going to use a fissure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, no doubt about it. It's the only thing you can do, really. He's, he's going to fissure and right through an enemy unit. Yeah. Because your units have 30 men in them. Yep. Which is insane. Or 50. They can have as big as you want. Oh, well, yeah, oh yeah, they're, they're yeah. Oh, yeah, you can have, yeah, that, you're, you're insane. <laughs> but <laughs> the bad thing about having too many of them in one group is that they all have the same leadership. Yeah, you see, most of my units, I have them as five or ten men units. You know, small combat squad for a special reason, or ten, you know. Um, yeah. So, it's pretty good. It's it's a, it's a pretty good as a sorcerer. Um, oh, I also got a plasma pistol. Yes. Where's the plasma pistol? Is it on his hip? Oh, he's wearing it. He's, he's just electrocuted somewhere right there. there. Yeah. Um, this figure is actually made up. This is a normal. It's not a normal. It's Chaos Space Marine. And I have the intercessor finger. Because there's a pointy finger on the intercessor. So he has the intercessor finger for firing the lightning. And you scan around here. And he has the helmet of the sorcerer uh, from the Terminator box. <laughs> Um, it, this is really is a hodgepodge of, of bits that I put together to make this figure. And I've given him the... Uh, that's from the command sprue from your command space marines, because you, you wanted the oak leaves. Yeah. So that's the sort of bare one which I've put on him to make him look a bit more archaic. Because a lot of the command... Uh, the f space marine command stuff, a lot of the armour looks quite ancient. Sort of not modern with pipes and stuff. It looks ancient, and so it has to put the figure together. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's nice. Although the new sorcerer, he's, he, he looks. I wouldn't say it's better than this because this guy's electrocuting a guy to death. Yeah, but that's because you added it onto that. Yes, uh, but the new one, he's got electricity coming out of his power glove. That's pretty cool. Uh, which is actually thanks to the Heresy book, the front cover. Where Horus has got the electricity coming out of his thing, and right. I just thought that looked really good, so I, that's what I did with that sorcerer. So um, yeah, this is the guy. He's there. He's great, um, and he's not on the original base either. He's on a new base. I had to build it. So is that it? Yeah. Sorcerers. Pretty amazing uh, figure, really. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, and given that he's now part of the Word Bearers, that has made the Word Bearers. Instead of just support troops, it's made them into their own group. Yeah, their own proper fighting yeah. force. They've got their own captain, their own lord, their own uh, sorcerer, um, support troops now. Yeah, think about it, yeah. He could do the fissure against the Khan. Yeah. yeah. Let's say it takes five, uh, four men out. You yeah. need to lose one more. You send your traitor legion to strike, lose a couple, uh, take a couple men oh, now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Take leadership. They're all, they're all gone. Yeah. Then make them hide. And the magic phase is first. Yep. Sorry, not magic. Sorry. Mm. Too much Age of Sigma. The sorcery phase. Sorcery. Yeah. So you sor sorcery, then deep strike your troops, with because your word bearers have traitor legion with them. Yep. Hopefully they fail morale. Gone. Yeah. And then the infantry come in and just stomp over everybody or just gun down anyone who's still there with their double shots. Yep. Their four rounds per bolter. It's just great. Just they're really... The word bearers are overpowered now. Well, not really, though, is it? Because it's, it's, it's their, their powers hit and run, really. So the first attack is their most devastating attack, then they're nothing. Same yeah, I suppose if you got into a meat grinder, the, the, the same word thing. bearers would lose, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. well, yeah, there you go. So that's it. That's the 
end of the video. Have you got anything else to add before I finish? Just give a quick... No, I think that's about it. I love the way this guy's dying. This guy's got blood everywhere and spikes, like electricity coming out of him. You'll not believe how long it took to build that. That is a lot of... There's a lot of spikes there. And it's they're not easy. But he's there. Electrocuting people. He's great. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. And comment down below what you think of the Chaos Sorcerer. It's goodbye from me. And goodbye from him. Goodbye. <laughs>